They are converged on Lagos stakeholders in the diary industry in both virtual and physical at the maiden edition of Orlandia Diary Day. The head of legal, public affairs and corporate communications, Chi Limited, Mr. Israel Danhauta, said that the event was a public interest initiative undertaken by Chi Limited, makers of the Orlandia brand, to raise awareness about the nutrition value of dairy products and how their daily consumption plays a key role in achieving optimum health. It said the theme for this year's event, Diary Nourishment to Support Healthy Living, was informed by the need to highlight the role diary consumption plays in everyday nourishment. Danauta, who drew attention to the low diary consumption figures in Nigeria and stressed the need for daily diary consumption. He expressed confidence that the Orlandia Diary Day Conference will be an effective forum for discussing the way forward in diary nutrition, setting priorities as well as connecting with today's consumers at a deeper and more meaningful level. In partnership with health, nutrition and communication experts, Chi Limited hopes to empower consumers to consider consumption of diary products in their diet every day. Senior Dietitian at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Cynthia Oyekwere, and a Nutrition Consultant, Amaka Okwesilezi Nwara, highlighted the importance of milk in the body. Dairy products are a very good source of calcium, protein, magnesium, potassium, zinc, phosphorus, and vitamins A and D. These essential nutrients, which are required by the body for optimum functioning and health, are found in higher levels per calorie than any other typical food found in an adult diet. And they have a higher absorptive rate than any other foods. And schools should consider having designated days for dairy, um, for dairy. So on such days, they should encourage their children, the students to come to school with dairy products. Schools should also consider having dairy as part of their school meals. Then to parents, catch them young and set good examples. If you want your children to take dairy, they need to see you doing it. If they see you drinking milk, taking yogurts, making smoothies, they would want to um, take dairy products. And then finally, government should also support local production of milk because if production is increased, definitely the cost would reduce. Then for adults, surprisingly, you may think they don't need milk. But they still need it because as you age, your bones are getting weaker and calcium, phosphorus and even vitamin D, there are strong nutrients that are very good for strong bones. And when they are not, and since milk is a major source of these nutrients, that's the easiest way that I think you can actually get yeah, those key nutrients. Because even if, if those nutrients are not provided, the bones will get weaker and tendency is that there could be problem. And so they must have to be provided for the mothers and for also for children and for elderly ones. In that they are really interested in knowing the benefits of dairy products and in no doubt that in today's session through our eminent panelists and the presenters we have been able to bring to light a lot of interesting facts and the need for consuming dairy not just for the children, but for every uh, person, uh, with, irrespective of the age group that he or she is. You're still watching the Mind TV Prime Channel News. Let's take a break. When we come back, we bring you stories from outside Nigeria. Stay with us.